Fantastic. Okay. So, what did, how are you going about the new one? Have you got a team yet? Sugar. Oh, do you? What have got to do then? Okay. Yeah, um, so we meet once a month. Today we are celebrating the Golden Jubilee of our society. This was postponed from last year to, to, uh, to due to COVID. Now uh, we especially welcome today Mrs. Jennifer Tolhurst, the Lord Lieutenant of Essex, the Mayor of Walden, Councillor Andrew Blay, and the Deputy Mayor of Walden, Councillor John Goodman. Sorry, I think we call this resident. Um, unfortunately, the mayor is unavailable today, can't make it. So, John is very kindly come on in his place. We also have with us Liz Goodwin, the chair of the Essex area of the Art Society. And we have two past chairmen of Blackwater Society, Dr. William Allen and Sue Roach. Unfortunately, another uh, past, uh, past chairman, Jackie Berry Richards, is unfortunately ill and can't come today, so we wish her well. And finally, uh, we have Mrs. Sue Jackman, who is a founder member of this society. lectures that I do is an angels lecture and I like to sing um, the earliest piece of music ever written in this country, ever written down in this country we reckon. It's by a saint, a hermit called St. Godrich. He was alive in the 10th century, lived in a hut up in Northumberland and he had this dream where an angel came to him, sang him a song, he woke up and he wrote it down and it goes like this. Sanctum DFAS was created and held its first meeting on Friday the 26th of March 1971. A steering committee of six was set up with Mr Christian Berridge as chairman, 
Sue Jackman, who attends our lectures, was one of our first inaugural committee, and Sue is with us today. The first lecture of the New Society had taken place on the 18th of March, being Mrs. Frances Armstrong from Hampton on Thames speaking on Fabergé. The Society was originally lecture based with occasional visits, but through the years has expanded into church recording, now sadly divorced from the Art Society, but in the recent past we have recorded a number of local churches. Langford has just been completed and Grace Way, who co coordinates those uh, church records, saying the book has now been published, and in fact we have a copy on our information table if you want to look at it. Then the next thing was our Young Arts, supporting local schools, and examples of what we've achieved in Young Arts is on our website. Heritage Volunteers is the third element of our voluntary sign, and that, in that we've assisted at the Essex Record Office, and at the Plume Library, while also stewarding at the Malden Museum. As well as lectures, we have study days and visits. The latter have taken us on day visits to art galleries, stately homes and exhibitions, and also extended trips all over this country and to the continent. In order to organise these activities, a great deal of hard work goes on behind the scenes by an elected committee to achieve seamless results all overseen by your chairman at quarterly committee meetings. Membership has continued to grow from the early base of less than 100 to peak at 200 just before COVID. Our membership fee was originally £2.50. <laughs> You'll note it's gone up to £49 this year. This sub, of course, is used to fund the hire of the hall, the lecturer's fees and expenses for audiovisual equipment. But also, approximately a third goes as affiliation fee to the Art Society centrally, and included in your subscription to the Art Society magazine. The profile of the membership has changed. Not for nothing did NADFAS once stand for the National Association of Dragons, Females and Spinsters. <laughs> Here's to the next 50 years and they be, may they be as interesting, successful, and happy as the first 50 years. Thank you, David. I want to congratulate you all on your 50 years. Um, actually, Wickham Bishop's NADFAS has had a terrific reputation in the whole county for a long time. And, uh, it took me a little while to make a connection between your new name and, and Wickham Bishop and that. So many, many congratulations and to all those who have been involved on the committee to make all these uh, wonderful events happen. I applaud uh, the Art Society. It's so important to have this dimension in our lives and your intention to bring people together through a shared curiosity for the arts achieves so many benefits. It's fantastic that you're able to preserve and contribute to our artistic heritage through volunteering, working as you do amongst other places in the Thomas Plume Library, the Malden Museum in the Park, and the Stomaris Aerodrome. It's very terrific. Uh, and wonderful also that you're able to work uh, to encourage an interest with uh, children in the arts through your help with arts projects at local schools and helping to develop an interest in the arts, generally. What a wonderful thing. Many, many congratulations, and thank you so much for asking me. Um, I will ask Mrs. Morehouse now if she would like to cut out cake. Happy birthday.